All right, so I got a few suspension stories from my youth for you guys today, and I think these are just pretty funny, so sit back and listen to these. When I was in grade three, I had a friend who suffered from severe ADHD, and he was my best friend, you know? Like, we got along well. I had ADHD, he had ADHD, and some other things, and we, you know, we got along good. One day, I thought of an idea. I didn't think it was gonna cause any harm to him. I knew it wouldn't, and it didn't. But what I did was I told him that this pill right here would turn him into Wolverine. It was really just an Advil for headaches, so it didn't even really matter. But I can tell you what, the principal was not too happy with me. Sent me home for three whole days. That was story one. In grade seven, I had a friend named Grant. And me and Grant used to be weird kids. What we used to do is we used to put on a show for everyone. We had this little ditch with a bridge that went right over it. You could sneak into the ditch and just hang around in there if you wanted to. There wasn't much to do in there. It was just meant to fill up with water. But with that bridge, you could kind of form a crowd. And what we would do is we would have WWE-esque fights in the bottom for people to watch. We'd use shit like belts, shopping carts, and just plain old ham hocks, right? But one day, we had someone in the crowd who wasn't a fan of the show, I guess, because they went ahead and they told the principal what we were up to down there. This was off of school hours, too, but the principal still had us suspended like he had the right to do it. That's what kind of pissed me off. That one shouldn't have been a warranted suspension. That was just really us exercising our right to perform. But the third story... So in this story, I was in my freshman year of high school, and this was kind of a funny story, but also kind of a weird one as well. So one day, I asked the teacher to use the bathroom, and for some reason, he said no. And I didn't think he had the right to do that, so what I did was I said, can I use the garbage can? He misunderstood me and thought I meant, can I throw something in the garbage can, or like, use the garbage can to throw something out. However, I meant use the garbage can. We were in a portable for this class, so all I had to do was take the garbage outside and just dump gallons into that thing. Honestly, this one was my proudest moment and pretty much ruined my reputation in high school, but that's all the stories I got for you guys today. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one.